I'm leaving. Off to the countryside we go. Much needed. An escape. The many bags. It is the end of the Megan and Ruby era of Paris and we are off to our next journey taking the train from Gare du Nord to saint rémy au bois where I will reunite with Nick and Judy who run the jam farm and the tea room. I just got some tasty little treats for them. Got a framboise tartelette and a tartelette citron. They're both my favorite flavors and I hope they like them. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Been a while since I've updated the camcorder. In the land of the wet dogs, it smells like. Yeah, it smells like it's giving wet yeah. dog. Ready for the farm life. We're waiting for our online friend to pick us up. This could our be our workaway uh, host. The start of something horrific. This but could be the start. Something. The station has been renovated. Does Gonzo ever uh, go sit in the front? Yes, he does normally. Oh, that's why he's, he's that's eager, why he's eager, eager to go yeah. to the front. I call shotgun. Yes. Shotgun king. Yes. So we do film. I don't, don't use it as a film camera.
<laughs> We're all just big dogs, you know? I can't speak today. Which came first, the marmalade or the orange? We had two glasses of wine. Two. Every day. Which results? Every day. Mistakes. With every meal. This is what happens when you drink on the job. Slap, slap, slap. This head looks pretty slappable. Mm -hmm. So slappable, huh? Jam process. This is day three. Day three on the job, recording. Now this here it took about mm, a little less than two hours to create. We had some uh, calvado and calvado. Uh, some lemon juice, lemons and oranges. Uh, mm. The calvado is the calvado. You can calvado calvado calvado. <laughs> Tomato. <laughs> um, we then submerged these in some water and sealed the caps, so they're all good. It's very delicious. Yeah, and um, what I wanted to add was the cavado has alcohol in it first, but when you cook it, it cooks out the alcohol. That correct. Exits. You cannot get drunk on this. It is what exits she's the jam. So, yes. fun fact. No getting drunk off the jam. Mm -mm. Just while you're making the jam. So that's today. Hey, three. Hello, I'm back on the jam farm in saint remy au bois France, here escaping the chaos of Paris Fashion Week and big city energy. Honestly, it can be, it can be too much. <clears throat> but being here alone with my thoughts, I thought I would do a little story time about my Paris Fashion Week experience because boy oh boy was that a roller coaster. So for around three days straight, I had five castings per day. Okay, come on, boy. I'm walking the dog right now. So first three days, pre-castings, <clears throat> did many big name castings. And for this being my first Paris Fashion Week experience, I <clears throat> really gave it my 110% and unfortunately did not get 110% back, but that's just what the business is like. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, for a good week or so, I was doing many castings, getting ready, waking up early, <clears throat> and after the casting process comes the fit to confirm process. Unfortunately, did not get many fit to confirms but that's also just how it is. I got one fit to confirm for a brand that I really do adore. And unfortunately, they gave me a very difficult ultimatum of either wear this look where one of where your tit is out or no job. I had to make that decision in a minute. My gut was saying, don't take it. And I don't regret it. I had to think about it a lot afterwards, faced with the failure aspect that I was enduring from Fashion Week. You know, you book a flight all the way to France, expecting to work some, walk some shows, got nothing, and I have to live with that and move on. But honestly, enough about Fashion Week. I'm here to decompress, reconnect with nature, and spend time with two of my closest friends, Ruby and Thea, 
who I both met in Japan, enjoying a solo morning walk with Polly. And then we're gonna go to a market in the Tsuke and take it easy, honestly. How are the ramparts? Wonderful. Exquisite, one would say. The fortress that we just broke through. Ramparts. now in La Petite Village of Montreuil, which is about the biggest city village that's close to the town that we're staying in and volunteering on. Susie, how was this neck again? Just like the guy that we just passed. Nice and thick. <laughs> Hit the red no, buttons on all the time. No, it's not. It, well, it took for me, it is. Okay. But it may be, may be to my bad eyes then. I would have to close, like do this. No, you, you don't because you learn to do it, but you learn to keep an eye shut. Someone might later, or I don't know if he'll take it or not. And so this is the world I was brought up in the art school. So that was going on there still. And the art school was crap, so I, I went on that tub a few times. Oh, wow. And it made me Just a cameraman. Right? Skip class? Well, I, no, I didn't even. Often if they, the model didn't come in, I'd go down the dark. Yeah, like that, which yeah. you can't even get today if you yeah. try. Yeah. Which is really, very impressive. And then at the back it like describes all of them, which is really yeah. cool. Market. Uh, the whole thing with supermarket fruit is really annoying because it's it's bread to look as though it's good forever, and then it's that awful disappointment, and then it's just like, why am I bothering? I can't uh, believe I still am in shock about the uh, asparagus. I feed it; it feels like an animal. When so, did you plant it? Uh, I planted it in about March. You can't oh. get them because you get these kind of things called grief in French, which is like claws. So they're like these weird looking things. So you only get them in March. They're sent to you by post at just the right time. Wow. In wrapped up in wet newspaper and that. And then you have to dig them and then in. Then you wait three years. <laughs> and then you wait three years before you can touch them. But then you are for twenty years. The asparagus. Can you imagine everything more wonderful? Where are you off to, witch? She's talking to me. Yeah. <laughs> what spells are you about to cast? That's for me to know and you to find out. Yeah? yeah. yeah. We're gonna go home and wake um, Ruby up from her beauty, beauty sleep because God does she need it. <laughs> 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 and then we're going to um, plan our sales. With the poop sticks. 
These aren't for poop. That's a period. <laughs> That's stuck in the shitty French toilet that I fucking flush. <laughs> Indeed. He looks like a noun in that. <laughs> such, such a pointy little head. Yeah, oh my god, I was doing fittings for Isimiyake and they put me in the... apartment Bye. 